inspiration perpetually exists everywhere and has no boundaries. One may find it in nature, while the others get inspired by music, streets, or even everyday objects. To transform inspiration into creativity, InDesign now features Adobe Capture that enables you to capture any image you like and generate creative elements like color themes, vector shapes, and type extracted from images. It can be saved in the CC libraries to be incorporated in your InDesign project. Let me show you how to get started with Adobe Capture extension. The extension can be accessed from three different entry points within InDesign. First is to find it under the object menu as Extract from Image, which has a sub-menu to choose extracting color themes, shapes or type. Second is to right-click an image, select Extract from Image and contextually choose from the options. And thirdly, open the CC Libraries panel and click the plus icon. You can select Extract from Image and this would open the Capture extension. In this scenario, I am working for a client project that requires me to create a floral lookbook. The client has shared some inspiration images for me to build the book using a similar color palette. Use a few motifs that are part of the catalog and have also shared their font preferences. Here I'll go ahead and right click the image to open the capture extension. As you see, capture has already extracted my color themes using color mode filter. Now I want to switch to deep color so that the content can shine out whereas my graphic elements can stay subtle across my book design. I like this palette and would go ahead and save it into my libraries. As you can see it has got added to the libraries panel and I can easily access it while focusing on my project. Now let me switch to shapes. From this catalog image I would like to vectorize a few elements and enhance to capture the essence that is present in the artwork. Instead of building from scratch using a pen tool, this is a great feature that allows to select any level of detail and invert the image to vectorize it. Also modify and apply smoothening to reduce the path points. Now to turn the vectorized image into actionable assets, I will go ahead and add it to my CC libraries and bring as a vector shapes in my InDesign file. Since the client has already shared a font preference, it's a bit hard to quickly find which font has been used in this inspiration image. The type module here comes to rescue when looking for similar font recommendation. Simply place a line of text within the blue box using the crop handles and capture extension will search for similar fonts. These are recommendations coming from Adobe fonts and there are options listed to choose from. Use the sample text to write any specific text string you might be looking for. Get a feel of your text in different font options. Now go ahead and hit edit to play around with the font properties. You have leading, tracking, font size, style, all can be controlled using the slider options. Adjust as needed and you can now go ahead and save it either as a character style or a paragraph style. And this will get saved to your libraries. On saving one of them, it will get auto-activated from the Adobe fonts to directly use in your InDesign file. Now, once you return back to your InDesign page, you can use these live assets to build your design or artwork. As you can see, I have applied the character style to my original text. Now I will go ahead and apply one of the colors from the color theme I have extracted. I will remove this inspiration image and draw a frame tool to place the extracted graphic shape. I will slightly adjust to make it fit proportionately. This is a great start for me to have my colors, shapes and typeface right in my designs in just a couple of minutes. That's it folks. Happy creating!